important is it to have stable alkalinity for a reef tank? It's very important. In fact, on my list of top 10 tips for keeping a SPS reef tank, I have stable parameters, especially alkalinity, at number one. Yes, a sudden change in alkalinity can be very detrimental to sensitive SPS corals, so it is best to monitor this parameter on a daily basis. For years, I have been using a hobby grade test kit from Salifer to track alkalinity, but I was only doing so on a weekly basis. The Salifer test kit is very easy to use, but it is not economical to test each day. And call me lazy, who wants to manually test alkalinity each day? They say necessity is the mother of invention, and a few years ago a number of companies rolled out alkalinity monitors, giving hobbyists the means to constantly monitor alkalinity on an automated basis. These monitors are a bit pricey, but they don't cost a lot to maintain. I use the KH Director from GHL, and over the eight months I have used the unit, I spent only $60 for a couple of bottles of reagent. Nonetheless, I believe the cost of entry to own one of these lab-grade units is absolutely worth it. I only monitor alkalinity once per day, but you can test multiple times a day. Here is a daily track of my tank's alkalinity during the first month I began using the Cage Director. As you can see, there were minimal variations by day, a good thing for SPS health. But there is more to this chart than meets the eye. In a broader sense, it can provide important insights into whether a tank's corals are consuming the right amount of calcium and alkalinity, a key indicator of their health. A slow downward trend in alkalinity is good as it suggests corals are sucking up what they need. If levels are not dropping, then either too much is being supplemented or the corals are not happy due to another issue such as a lack of trace elements or very low nitrates or phosphates. When I see slow declines, I eventually bump up dosing to keep my alkalinity within a desired range, which yields a series of slight ups and downs over time. Overall, the more data points you have, the easier it will be to spot trends and course correct. Food for thought for those on the fence about purchasing an alkalinity monitor. Oh, did I mention these monitors provide lab grade results versus hobbyist test kits? That's more food for thought. So that's the skinny. One very important note to disclose, I do sell KH directors, but I only sell or recommend products I use personally and believe will be good for my viewers. If you would like more information or would like to purchase a KHD, please click on the link in the video description below. Many thanks for watching, and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be alerted to my latest videos. And if you're interested in purchasing a copy of my book, A Reef Bum's Guide to Keeping an SPS Reef Tank, please follow the link in the video description below. The book includes a whole bunch of tips to help you maintain a beautiful reef tank.